Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's draw the Tyrannosaurus Rex preying on the Edmontosaurus. Although a top predator, Tyrannosaurus Rex wasn't able to hunt any prey it wanted. For example, the huge sauropod dinosaur Alamosaurus was too big for it. So Tyrannosaurus Rex wouldn't risk its life to prey on the Alamosaurus. It would also be difficult to prey on the well-armored Triceratops or Ankylosaurus. The Edmontosaurus, a hadrosaurid dinosaur, was the most suitable prey for Tyrannosaurus rex. Such speculation is supported by fossil evidence. People once found to call the vertebrae of an Edmontosaurus with a tooth of a Tyrannosaurus rex sandwiched between them. These tachordal vertebrae healed after being injured. It shows that this Edmontosaurus was attacked by Tyrannosaurus rex and managed to escape, but the tooth of Tyrannosaurus rex was stuck in its caudal vertebrae. Today, we are drawing a Tyrannosaurus rex preying on an Edmontosaurus based on this famous specimen. First, let's compose the scene, starting from a running Edmontosaurus. Behind it is a Tyrannosaurus rex biting its tail. Now, let's draw the exposed parts first. The Edmontosaurus had a long head, with the back of the skull tilted forward. Its eyes were small and looked frightened. It had a large nose with downward facing nostril openings. It had prominent cheekbones, but no cheeks. Its mouth was big with the two corners stretching back. We only need to show the teeth on its lower jaw, as the teeth on the upper jaw were probably blocked by the lips. It had a thick lower jaw with powerful muscles toward the back. Note that its mouth was not completely flat, and the beak on the upper jaw curved downward. The beak was covered with keratin. Behind its eyes, draw its ears. There might be a fleshy crown toward the back of its head, and we need to show this crown. Its neck was connected with the back probably by powerful muscles, making the neck look thick and strong.
The bottom of the neck was covered with banded scales, and the back of the neck was full of folds. There were large scales on the sides of the neck for protection, Its shoulder blades weren't prominent because they were covered by a large amount of muscles. Its forelimbs were thick, with powerful muscles. It had four toes on the front foot, three of which were weight-bearing and fused into two large hooves. One of them was sharper, and the other was big. In addition, it had a small toe on its front foot. Now, let's draw its other forelimb as well. Then move on to its hind limb. Its upper leg was connected to the body, and its lower leg was muscular. Its hind foot came with three toes, all ending in hoof-shaped nails. Before moving on to the tail, let's draw the head of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex had a wide mouth, and the long teeth at the front was biting the tail of the Edmontosaurus. Next, draw some keratinous structures on the head of Tyrannosaurus rex, as well as the scales that covered the face. Then, let's draw the round eyes of Tyrannosaurus rex. Above the eyes, there were also well-developed keratinous structures. Now, 
Next, move on to the body of Tyrannosaurus rex. Start with its thick neck. Then move on to its body and the exposed parts of its legs. When drawing, note that some parts were exposed and some were blocked. We don't need to draw the feet with too much detail, because we'll draw some dust under its feet to partially block them. Next, move on to its tail and draw some dust around the tail as well. Draw the tail of the Edmontosaurus. Its tail was stiff and not very flexible. Under the tail, we can draw some band-like stripes. Finally, we can add some folds on its body. And draw some bumps on its back. Now, we've completed the scene of a Tyrannosaurus rex preying on an Edmontosaurus.